We guys ready? Right, I'm going to tell you a true story. When I joined Arsenal from Luton Town in 1995, I became Britain's most expensive teenager. It, it was a huge moment for myself, my family. And I remember when I first walked into the Arsenal dressing room, it was full of proper <laughs> football players. What you would call bordering on legends. It was England back four. It was David Seaman, Lee Dixon, Tony Adams, Martin Keown, Boldy, Nigel Winterburn, Ian Wright. Proper, proper footballers. So 19 years of age, I'm still a baby. Our plan for that particular week was we train on the Monday, we fly to Germany on the Tuesday, and we play a Champions League qualifier on the Wednesday. So I'm walking down the corridor, Arsenal training ground, and um, Paul Merson comes walking towards me. And he said to me, uh, could you do me a favour this morning in training? So half sort of whispered it to me. I said, no problem. I said, what is it? He said, well, the thing is, he said, I've, um, I've just bought a horse and she makes her first run at Ascot on Wednesday. I went, oh, yeah. He said, I don't want to go to Germany tomorrow. He said, I, I want to watch my horse run at Ascot. Do me a favour. I said, what's that? He said, could you give me a little kick this morning in training? He said, I'll go over and I'll miss the trip to Germany and I'll be able to go and see my horse run. I couldn't believe what he was asking me to do. So we go out to training, Merce just jogs past me like that, and I go, wallop! I've raked eight studs down the back of Paul Merson's calf. So he's rolling, screaming in agony, right? All the lads are like that. What are you doing, John? What are you doing? He's our best player. Tony Adams comes over, he goes, Jolly boy. Save it, son, save it. <laughs> so anyway, Paul actually gets up. There's about 30 seconds left of that particular session. And I can feel Paul Merson's presence just jogging up alongside me. And he whispers in my ear, any chance of making it look realistic? So I'm thinking, oh no, what, what, what am I gonna do here? There must be seconds left of this session. The ball is bouncing like that <laughs> in front of the manager. I've took off, literally, and I've caught him there. <laughs> I've cut him in half. He's gone up in the air, bang, down, like a sack of spuds. The manager walks off the training ground, and the players are like that. Oh, my God. Paul Merson didn't play for four months. <laughs> And I got fined three weeks' wages. <laughs> That's a true story.